Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. And today we're playing Greedfall and we're doing another countdown video. This one being the top 8 tier 4 light weapons. So these are going to be one-handed weapons focused on physical damage. And as you may know from the game, tier 4 is the purple weapons in the game. They have a purple background around them. And as such, they don't really have any set locations in the game, but they're very easy to find. You just go to any of the traders in San Mateus, Hikmet, or New Serene, or the one in the in-between travel screen place where you're at that little camp. Uh, and you'll it's pretty easy to find any of these so this list will basically just be a ranking for them and showing you Which ones are the ones you should keep your eyes out for if you're looking for a good weapon? So we're just gonna start it off at number eight So number eight we have the court sword a nice rapier looking weapon with a physical damage of 392 and an armor damage of nine Not bad if I do say so number seven We have the steel hunting dagger which it with a physical damage of 396 and an armor damage of seven uh, this one being a very good weapon if you can get close, but having a relatively short reach, being its only downside. So let's move on to number six. So at number six, we have another one that has that limited reach. This one having a slightly goofier opinion in my look, very thin, curved blade. But this one is the Steel Dagger, with a physical damage of 410 and an armor damage of 8. So that is number six. Let's move on to number five. So at number five, we have the Short Steel Sword. This one having a broader blade than the Hunting Dagger, but looking basically the same other than that. Physical damage of 410 and armor damage of 8. Uh, this one, again, really just the short reach being its only downside. So let's move on to number 4. At number 4, we have another full-length one, a little bit shorter than Rapier, but we have a Saber here. This one being the Straight Saber, with a physical damage of 453 and an armor damage of 15. So, let's move on to number 3. At number 3, we have the Marquis Rapier. This one with a physical damage of 456 and an armor damage of 12. A fantastic weapon in my opinion, one that I used for a good portion of the game. Uh, it has an interesting design where you can kind of see through the fuller in the middle, which is a little strange. But other than that, very standard for a rapier. So that is number 3. Let's move on to number 2. And number 2 we have one almost indistinguishable from the last one. This one being the Steel Rapier. Uh, having a solid fuller, which is more traditional in my opinion. Uh, this one having a physical damage of 456 and an armor damage of 12, much like the last one. However, this one has a higher quality and a slight boost to Stun Fury and a, uh, whatever that is, ATT Cost Furious, which could just be a weird translation from French to English. So that is the runner-up at number two, so we'll move on to the number one best tier four light weapon, which is the Naval Officer's Saber. This one, unlike the Rapiers, has a slightly shorter reach, but makes up for it by a very high physical damage of 488, making it one of the best light weapons in the game, and a decent armor damage of 13. So that is all the tier 4 light weapons in Greedfall. I hope this list was useful, and it'll help you decide which weapons are worth keeping yourself, which ones are worth selling, which ones are worth scrapping, and which ones are worth giving to your companions. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.